KSL is following five families in five different districts who made different learning choices throughout this unprecedented school year. We checked back now in the second quarter to find that all of them have faced different challenges during the COVID-19 surge, and they reflect the struggles faced by many Utah families. Unfortunately, our family was infected with the COVID-19. All seven members of the Yongi family got the virus, but mom says not at school. It was when they let down their guard and masks on fall break. Going to a bowling alley, hanging out with their cousin, going to McDonald's. Despite the quarantine, the Yongis expressed the most happiness with their school situation. All in person in Granite District. In person school has been great. The kids have absolutely loved it. I want them to be in a different learning situation by January for sure. By contrast, the Williams family won't last the year on remote learning in the Salt Lake District. Both parents work full time and their five kids can't fend for themselves. Our house was just like just a tense ball of stress. So they hired a private tutor, a retired teacher for one daughter, and they hired a nanny to oversee homework and Zoom sessions for two of their boys. And that has definitely helped, but it has taken a hit to the pocketbook. The $1,500 a month bill is unsustainable. So they'll look at open enrollment in another district for the second half of the year. Morgan Purse Glove tried to go back to in-person learning in Canyons District, but on the first day, first class, she had a panic attack. I just felt totally sick going there. Underlying health conditions keep her home, not only from school, but other things. Morgan is invited to parties on Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday nights. Serious? The sleepovers. She is invited to so much. You caught me off guard there. So Morgan, really, you've been invited to slumber park, to sleepovers and parties and things? It just surprises me how many things are going on in the middle of a pandemic. What isn't going on during the pandemic that concerns mom is enough electives and live streaming options for at-home learners, which hurts her daughter's education and ability to get enough credits for graduation. I really truly don't feel like there was a plan for online. These kids are being set up for a little bit of failure. And it's just not working. That's why Emily Johnson's daughter is returning to the classroom. The family originally chose distance learning to protect teachers, but found the experience for their children was not equal. Their youngest boy will continue school at home with a dedicated online teacher. The whole class is doing well and he loves school. He will not even consider going back right now. Finally, the Nagel family was pleasantly surprised about in-person school from a health standpoint. I think that masks and clean hands are doing the trick for the most part. Masks didn't turn out to be a big deal for sixth grader Henry. I mean, the mask doesn't really bother me. Um, everybody that I see is wearing masks, so it's all good. Yeah. Academically, the, the response is, is more subdued is, is well and likely good, sums up the experience of most gosh. families. I wouldn't say it's going smoothly. I, I'm willing to say it's going as well as it can. Since we worked on this story, the Salt Lake School Board voted to phase in in-person learning starting with the new year. And the Williams family said they're thrilled.